So I have over 30 pairs of shoes in my wardrobe, yet over the last six months, I've noticed that I've worn one pair probably 50% of the time. So what is this style that's getting a disproportionate number of wears and basically has been my favorite go-to shoe for the last few months? Guys, I can tell you it's not a shoe, it's the dress boot. And in today's video, gents, the ultimate guide for buying the right dress boot for you. All right, gents, I'm gonna break this video up into three parts. First off, I'm gonna talk about the why. Why do you want to incorporate dress boots in your wardrobe? Next, I'm gonna talk about the what. What exactly are dress boots? Finally, I'm gonna talk about the how. How to incorporate dress boots into your wardrobe. Ready, guys? Let's get into it. Point number one, why? Why all the love for dress boots? I can tell you guys, over the last six months, 50% of the time when I leave my house, I'm wearing dress boots and I wear them because they're comfortable. I wear them because they're versatile. I wear them because they have traction and I live in a part of the country where we get rain, we get sleep, we're already starting to get you know a little bit of frost in the morning and it's really nice. When I go to watch my son's football game, I'm going up and down on the bleachers and I'm not worried about falling down. They look great. I can dress them up. I can dress them down and it really, it's the same boot. I get compliments on them. All of these, Go, all right, that's what I love about the dress boot. It is so versatile, so comfortable, and can give you so much traction. Now, a company I wanna to bring to your attention, guys, that I've been field testing for over six months, Thursday boots. And I've got a couple different pairs right here, so definitely check them out. Guys, I'm gonna to link to them down in the description. Now, a couple things I wanna to bring to your attention about Thursday boots. Number one, the leather they use is from the Horween Tannery in Chicago, Illinois. They use a buttery soft inner glove lining, which I noticed this when I first got these boots, and I was asking Nolan, which I spoke with one of the founders, and he was telling me about why they chose this lining, how it makes the boot more comfortable. In my experience, in hot and cool weather, this is actually true. They've got an EVA comfort strip, and they've got a cork bed midsole that molds to the foot. What this means, guys, is that you'll be able to wear these for 14, 16 hours, and they're gonna feel great. Finally, guys, I need to really point out the price point is amazing. So if you haven't heard of this company, guys in my Facebook group have been talking about them, you definitely wanna go check them out. Point number two, what exactly is a dress boot? and What should you be looking for when you're going out there and buying your first pair? So guys, you're gonna see three common styles of dress boots. You're gonna see the Chelsea, you're going to see the Chukka, you're going to see the laced dress boot. I'm not gonna tell you which one is right for you, it depends on your needs, but let me help you understand how each of them are different. So the Chelsea is going to be laceless, and that's the key characteristic with this dress boot. It's usually gonna have elastic on the sides. Most modern Chelsea's aren't gonna go more than two inches high higher than a pair of dress shoes, and they're just gonna barely cover the ankle. Now, the interesting thing about the Chelsea is of all the dress boots I've mentioned, it's usually going to be the most formal because the base design of it is from a dress shoe. So you're gonna see a leather sole, you're gonna see a more delicate design, and basically the bottom of it right here isn't, you're not gonna see much traction on most Chelsea's out there. Now, some Chelsea's you will see are actually made for winter and are going to actually have a rubber sole put over the leather, and they also may have have a zipper on the inside. Those don't really seem too much in the United States, but if you're looking for something for cold weather, that may be an option. The second style I wanna talk about is the Chukka design. This comes from the desert boot. It's gonna be both informal and casual styles. Oftentimes, it's the materials and slight differences in the details of the boot, which are gonna either make it casual or dressier. This pair right here is gonna be dressier. I can tell by the leather sole, the thickness of the sole, the upper and the smoothness of the leather and the design. The lace itself that's used here, usually you're gonna see anywhere from two to four eyelets. Uh, but right here, as you can tell, it doesn't go up very high. A more casual one, we would see a rubber sole. We'd probably see maybe three or four eyelets. We'd maybe see a more casual material up here used on the upper, but that is the chukka. Now, the laced boot, this one right here, oftentimes we're going to see as more casual. This is not going to be something you would normally wear with a suit. You will see most of them are going to have derby type of uh, open lacing systems. A closed lacing system, like you would see with an Oxford, is very rare on a laced booting system like this because the lace Laces themselves make this, therefore, a more informal shoe. Now, what I really like about this design right here is that this one right here is made from a combat boot or a uh, work boot hair 
heritage. So it's going to be very, very comfortable. Yet yeah, it's going to be have traction down here at the bottom. You're going to notice it does not have, it's going to have some leather riding here, but overall it's going to have a rubber sole. This one made by Thursday Boots is going to have, you know, that cork insert that I talked about here. Uh, also the upper itself is going to have that, uh, that glove lining on the inside. But overall we see that this one has, you know, just double stitching right over and around here. So it's got leather laid over leather. What that does is again, it adds a bit to the design, but it also makes the boot more casual. But let's start to look now at the toe. Notice this one right here has a plain toe. This one right here has what's known as a cap toe. This pair of boots right here, notice all of the design. This here has a wing tip. So that'll be the final thing that you'll start to notice in all the boots. You'll notice that also in Chukka's and Chelsea's as well. So that's not exclusive to the laced boot design. But anytime we start to bring in ornamentation, we start to bring in all of this design, we start to bring in contrast stitching, all of this is going to make the boot more casual. Now I know I could have gone into a lot more detail about all the pieces of the boot. Definitely go check out the infographic, guys. I put together an awesome infographic. We're going to break out all the details I talked about, plus more. And so you definitely want to go check that out. Point number three, gents, how to pull off dress boots in your wardrobe. So I've talked about Chelsea's. You can actually a black, dark brown, wear those with a suit. But boots like this are going to be more casual in nature. Therefore, you're going to want to match them with jeans. Really, the rubber sole, the lacing system, as I talked about, this is something that's naturally going to work with jeans. So you can wear this with pretty much all the jeans, whether they be a bit more you know, casual, lighter color, or darker colored denim, which I recommend. You can also wear these with chinos, a wide variety of trousers made from different materials. Uh, I've got a pair of olive green uh, moleskin that I pull off with this. You can also pull off a, a pair of gray flannels. The great thing about this is anything not a suit, not dressed up to that level, you can pull off with this. So when it comes to the trousers, you've got that covered. Now let's go into shirts. So all of a sudden you want to look at any type of button down, maybe polos. You can pull off a great well-fitted t-shirt with any of the trousers I just talked about with these boots. Instantly it's going to look up. You're going to have that one item that people are instantly drawn to because boots, shoes in general are an end point and they'll for grab people's attention. But don't just stop with the shirts. Maybe you wanted to wear that polo or that t-shirt or that button down, maybe throw on a sports jacket. If you want to go more casual, throw a leather jacket over that t-shirt. Maybe look to throw a jean jacket. Very see, see all the things that you can do with this. And that's again, gents, why I love the dress boot. You can dress it up, dress it down. It's going to give you traction. It's going to get you compliments. Overall, guys, a great piece to add to your wardrobe. And if you're looking for a company to support, check out Thursday boots. Like I said, for six months, I've been wearing these. For the last month, I've been wearing these. And I can tell you, these things are made well. They're at a great price point. Even the name Thursday comes from the fact that when they founded the company, they wanted the idea of a boot that works hard for you like you do on a Thursday. But the weekend is inside. That literally, you can wear these to work. Then you can wear them out to play in the evening, night out with the buds. So guys, great company. Definitely go check them out. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.